Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today we'll review 10 vocabulary words, and this is the Advanced Vocab Builder lesson number seven. We'll go through definitions, pronunciation, parts of speech, and some sentences. So let's hop in. Listen to me pronounce the words first. Jubilant, cerebral, delineate, embezzle, delegate, corrosive, benign, anguish, prescribe, harrowing. Let's talk about jubilant first. This means extremely joyful or happy, and it's an adjective. So to be excited, filled with joy, and it's just a very, very positive word. Some example sentences here are the team was jubilant after winning the championship. She was jubilant when she received the news that she had been accepted to her dream college. Next, we have cerebral, and this means intellectual rather than emotional or physical in nature. It's an adjective. So cerebral is relating to the mind. Here are a couple of sample sentences. She was a cerebral person who enjoyed intellectual discussions and debates. The scientist's research was highly cerebral, requiring advanced knowledge of mathematics and physics. Next, we have delineate. And this means to describe or portray something precisely. It's a verb. Delineate means to draw lines or boundaries in a figurative sense. So to categorize or make those divisions. Some sample sentences here are the professor asked the students to delineate the main arguments in the text they had read. The map clearly delineated boundaries of the national park. Next, we have embezzle, and this means to steal money by falsifying records. It's a verb. It's, you know, not a good thing. In most, if not all countries, embezzlement is a crime. So here are some example sentences. It is illegal to embezzle funds. The accountant embezzled over a million dollars from her clients over the course of several years. Next, we have delegate. And what this means is to hand over responsibility for something, a verb. I'm not reviewing the noun version of this word right now. It has a different pronunciation, but I don't wanna muddy the waters by introducing it. So let's learn about delegate. Some sentences are, she decided to delegate the task to her assistant knowing he could handle it. He had to delegate some of his duties to his colleagues when he became ill. Next, we have corrosive. And this means having the tendency to erode or eat away. It's an adjective. I often hear this with reference to metal and uh, the corrosion of metal, sort of the eating away of it. Some example sentences are, the acidic solution was highly corrosive and quickly ate away at the metal. And the use of harsh chemicals can have a corrosive effect on the environment. Next, we have benign. Favorable, not threatening, mild. It's an adjective. So benign is, you know, not that bad. And you'll hear it as reference to something that's not that bad, but you'll also hear it specifically in reference to cancer and uh, the idea that um, a tumor, for example, is benign or not cancerous. So those are the main ways you'll hear this. Here are your sample sentences. His mistake was benign and had no serious consequences. The biopsy results showed that the tumor was benign, providing a great sense of relief to the patient. Next, we have anguish. I hear this all the time. It's a very dramatic word. It's extreme sadness or torment, and it's a noun. Some examples here are she cried out in anguish when she heard the news of her friend's passing and the anguish of a broken heart can be unbearable. Those are some pretty heavy sentences. So, yep, anguish is an impactful word. 
Next we have prescribe. And this is to advise or authorize the use of medicine or treatment or to lay down a rule. Both cases are verbs. Some example sentences here are, I asked the doctor to prescribe a medicine to treat my anxiety and the therapist prescribed regular exercise and mindfulness practices to help reduce stress. Next, we have harrowing. And this is something that's greatly distressing or vexing. It's an adjective. Some example sentences here are the survivor's account of the harrowing boat accident was difficult to listen to. And the harrowing images of a war left a lasting impression on him. Great job. Listen to me read these words one more time. Jubilant, cerebral, delineate, embezzle, delegate, corrosive, benign, anguish, prescribe, harrowing. There will be more videos just like this on this channel. I'll put playlists down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and try using these words in the comments below. Thanks.